Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing good. So I have some perfume samples I wanted to talk about. I also picked up a perfume from my local Marshalls that was a recommendation. I don't know that I've ever smelled this and it was only $4 in the clearance section. So I'll show you that. Um, and so I wanted to try it. I don't know what they compare the price to. Oh, I guess it's not on there. Um, so I have watched several fragrance videos in the last couple of weeks. And one of the ladies, um, it's Amanda, Amanda loves perfume. If I remember, I'll link her down below. She doesn't even know that I exist. She had talked about this Elizabeth Arden perfume that she really, really liked. And a lot of the other perfumes that she's talked about or that she has in her collection, I myself like. So I thought for $4, let's blind buy this and smell it together. Um, I can't remember if she said if this was more like a spring summer fragrance. I feel like green tea, it's called green tea scent spray. It's a 1.7 fluid ounce. So here's that. I have seen this perfume throughout my life a gazillion times at TJ Maxx and Marshall's. I just don't know that I've ever smelled it or tried it before. It's kind of nice. I got a trash here in front of me. So here is what the bottle looks like. It's got a leaf, really, really cute. It's very, um, it's not expensive, like making or making expensive, like atomizer or perfume bottle by any means. That is nice. It smells like green tea and like, it's a really fresh scent. It's kind of green at the same time. For $4, you guys, this is not a bad perfume. I do like that. I can see where I, I think she did mention that this was like a spring summer. So I got that. I was really, really excited. Like I said, for four bucks, you know, um, you'll probably see my Bath and Body Works haul first. I went into my Bath and Body Works and Marshall's is two doors down. So, you know, going at the same time. Then I got in another blind buy. This was a, um... Somebody else had recommended this. I think she did too. Amanda loves perfume. And it's the Replica Jazz Club. I did a travel size. So here is the packaging. I got a couple samples with this too. So we'll smell those together as well. Um, a lot of people, I can't smell it just like out of the tube. So here it is. It's a point, does it tell us how many ounces or 0.34. So we have our bladder cards, so let's do a sniffy. Put the lid down. It's interesting. I kind of like this. It's very different. It's kind of musky. It's got a little bit of a sweet, smoky scent to it. And not smoky like tobacco, but like a like a distance fireplace, like a wood burning fireplace. That is really interesting. And it's called Jazz Club. I've not found a replica that I really, really like. I think you guys had seen my, um, I had tried the uh, fireplace one. It's okay, but it's just not my cup of tea. But that's interesting. I kind of like that. So I got that. And then I got a sample of the Libra uh, YSL um, ED, ED Parfum, and it's in this. So it's a generous size sample. I think this was one of my 100 point perks at Sephora. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and I don't know anything about it. I don't know that I've smelled this before. It smells like perfume. That's weird. It smells like a generic perfume. Kind of smells like shampoo. Like, um, it's not soapy, but it's, it's got a really sharp note to it. I'd have to try this on my skin to see how I like it. It's kind of different. I know we have smelled like a lot of different things just right now, but that's interesting. So that's called Libra, L-I-B-R-E. So we got that in there. And then I got a sample of Mason Louise Marie. 
and it's number four and I apologize I am not gonna be able to say that um, if you can see that so we got this sample I love getting samples if you can't tell I think they are so much fun and I love my Giorgio Armani um, samples or my blotter cards this smells like a Lilabo one that I smelled at Lilabo I can't say, I'm going to say Le Lebo. This smells just like one of the ones I've smelled there. I can't remember what number it is. I want to say it's uh, Lis 41 or Ives 41. One of those, that's what that reminds me of. It reminds me of a La Labo for sure. That smells good. It's very unique smelling. And then I have heard a lot of people talk about, the, about this and I'm, I should just title this video uh, trying out what Amanda Loves Perfume channel, which she has done. And it's Juliet Has a Gun and this is a unisex fragrance that she had talked about and it's called Nada Perfume. Now I just did the travel size. Um, it comes in this really cool like foam packaging. Um, I did spray this one since I got it um, and I have to tell you I really liked it. I'll spray it again for the sake of the video. And I think Joe would really like this one as well um, because it's targeted towards unisex perfume or cologne. And when you first spray it, it's really like, it's kind of odd. It's like not there, but it is there. And then once it starts like melting into your chemistry and like developing, if you will, it smells so good on my skin. I'm going to put it right here. It's very, very pretty. And it's this is a generous size bottle. How many ounces is this? It's probably the same as all the other ones. Um, 0.25. I don't know if that's the same as all the other ones. Um, but I really, really like it. It's very fresh and clean smelling. And what they say about this is that it's hypoallergenic. So if you're like sensitive to smells or you get headaches from smells, that this is like a very unique allergen free. Um, it's 74% volume of the ED perfume. It, it just, they're saying that this is like such a great fragrance for people that are sensitive to smell. I think my sister Jessie would really like this. It just smells really clean on the skin, almost like Creed Adventus for men. It's a very crisp, clean, like Creed Adventus is like a strong cologne, but this kind of reminds me of that fresh family, like that really very clean scent. We didn't do a thumbnail, so I'm trying to find something to do a thumbnail with. Let me close this back up and we'll do one real quick. So let's do a thumbnail. You like that? Anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I had picked up from Sephora. Some things that I was enjoying. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this. Let me know if you've ever tried any of these colognes or perfumes. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.